a reading of the New Testament. Sorry, a reading of the New Testament as uh, rendered by the uh, Gullah people. That's the people. Well, the Seattle down there. That's why Lenny's on my mother's side. Um, and as usual, we we just pick. Well, let's check this out. This was yesterday's. We just picked. Well, let me stay in this because I I can't even. I can, first of all, I, I need my glasses because uh, the the the, uh, the Gullah Bible is based on um, the uh, the New Testament of the King James Version of the Holy Bible, and you know they have the well the King James Version is there, and this is the Gullah here, so the font is pretty small, so I actually need uh, reading glasses to do this. Uh, I just turned the page. Uh, I think I'm pronouncing this wrong. Let me. Let me go and see, because, uh, cause, see, I read the Bible a couple of times, and uh, I'm not a Bible kind of person, but I read it a couple of times. And said, let me tell you a funny story. The second time I was reading it, uh, I had been all the way through. I was into the, I was way into the New Testament. I think I was, I was past Luke, whatever it is. And my and I had visit, I was visiting my grandmother at the time, because you know, I had left the house, you know, when I was whatever. But, but I, I went and visited. I used to visit her every sun, Sunday, actually. So I think I think it must may have been a Sunday. I was up there reading. She says, "Oh, you're reading the Bible." I said, "Yeah, I did the did the whole thing." Telling what she said, "Oh, you don't have to worry about that old stuff. You know, just just read the New Testament." I remember that's my that's my, my mother's side. My my grandmother on my mother's side, so she got it from the yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, what is it? Tessalon? Is it? Uh, uh, Tess uh, Tess Thessalonians? I guess it's Thessalonians. Anyway, this is the uh, one Thessalonians, uh, four on page, um, on page uh, seven hundred three four. Let's do nine. Why not? Uh, there ain't no need for right honor about how honor ought to love on a Christian brethren, cause God been lying on a for love one nada noda. And that that the uh, translation is, but as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another. Again, you know we read these things. Uh, we read these things twice, and, and I, I I read uh, to well to connect with my with my color thing, you know, and I I just uh it's it's a so I, I try to do it daily, Maybe, I mean, except for Sundays when I do the Sunday sermon with Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s book, A Compensatory Concept. But um, so it's just a, it's an exercise that I'm enjoying, uh, you know, how people read their Bible every day. Well, I can say the same thing when they when people say they read their Bible, you know, I you know I think I know what they're talking about. But now I, I can say, yeah, I read my Bible every day. Now, of course, they think I'm talking about whatever they talk about, because not a whole lot of people have the goal of Bible. So. See how that works. Anyway, that's me being contrarian as usual. Okay, uh, there ain't no need for right on about how honor ought to be on a Christian brethren, cause God been land honor uh, for love one an, one another. Again, the translation is, but as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you. For ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another. Uh, there's a reading from uh, from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from the uh, the Gullah Bible, my people's Bible. <laughs>